I don't know Putin. I I'm, have no I'm idea. Asking, I'm asking I never you, met yeah. Putin. I will always tell you the truth. Do you have a relationship with Vladimir Putin, a conversational relationship, or anything that you feel you have sway or influence over his government? I do have a relationship. I never met Putin. I don't know who Putin is. I was in Russia. I was in Moscow recently. And I spoke indirectly and directly with President Putin, who could not have been nicer. What do I have to get involved with Putin for? I have nothing to do with Putin. I've never spoken to him. You did say on three different occasions you had a relationship with him. Now you say there is none. Putin even sent me a present, beautiful present, with a beautiful note. I spoke to all of his people. I was going to fire Comey, knowing there was no good time to do it. And in fact, when I decided to just do it, I said to myself, I said, you know, this Russia thing with Trump and Russia is a made-up story. It's I have no relationship with Putin. I don't think I've ever met him. I never met him. I don't think I've ever met him. You would know it if you did, I think you? so. Yeah, I think so. So I've, I don't think I've ever met him. I mean, if he's in the same room or something, but I don't think so. Never spoken to him I've on the phone? I've been in Moscow. I didn't meet him in Moscow. Where? Never spoken to him on the phone? Uh, I have never spoken to him on the phone, no. I was in Russia. I was in Moscow recently. And I spoke indirectly and directly with President Putin, who could not have been nicer. One of the great memories of all time. You Never said for him. three years, 13, 14, and 15, that you did have a relationship have, with him. No, I, look, what, what do you call a relationship? I mean, he treats me I'm with, asking with you. great respect. What do I have to get involved with Putin for? I have nothing to do with Putin. I've never spoken to him. Putin wants to go in, and I got to know him very well because we were both on 60 Minutes. We were stable mates, and we did very well that night. I've studied uh, Russian uh, intelligence activities over the years and have seen it, um, again, manifest in many different of our counterintelligence cases and, and how they have been able to get people, including inside of CIA, to become treasonous. Uh, and frequently, individuals who go along that treasonous path do not even realize they're along that path until it gets to be a bit too late. Now, Donald Trump will be speaking here in just a few minutes. He called me late today to once again defend his claims, telling me that although he doesn't remember where exactly he saw that video, he does know he saw it because he has, quote, the world's greatest memory. Lester? All right. I never met Putin. I don't know who Putin is. He said one nice thing about me. He said I'm a genius. I said thank you very much to the newspaper, and that was the end of it. I never met Putin. When people like me, I like them. Even Putin, you know, Putin, they want me to disavow Putin, Putin of Russia. Then there was the fascination with who said what about Putin. Take a listen. Now we have a lot of this is one where you can just kind of go to the tape on it. But Governor Pence said, inarguably, Vladimir Putin is a better leader than President Trump. That is absolutely in our, uh, and, inaccurate. And, and, and I just think a guy said he's a stronger, he's been stronger on the world stage. No, you said leader. All right, so let's play the tape, Dylan. This is what Pence told CNN's Dan Bash about Putin. I think, uh, I think it's inarguable uh, that Vladimir Putin has been a stronger leader in his country than Barack Obama has been in this country. Donald Trump is gushing again over Vladimir Putin. If he says great things about me, I'm going to say great things about him. Trump believes Putin called him brilliant a few months ago. Putin later said he only called Trump bright. But tonight, it's Trump's comments about the Russian president's leadership made to NBC News, which have brought serious fallout. I mean, the man has very strong control over a country. Now, it's a very different system, and I don't happen to like the system. But certainly, in that system, he's been a leader far more than our president has been a leader. Putin, the man who invaded Ukraine, annexed Crimea, backs the brutal Syrian dictator Bashar al-Assad, crushes those who oppose him inside Russia and may well be responsible for the hack of the Democratic National Committee's computers. That Vladimir Putin, Trump says, outshines President Obama. Fresh meat for Hillary Clinton. It is scary because it suggests he will let Putin do whatever Putin wants to do and then make excuses for him. But Trump's embrace of Putin isn't just scaring Trump's rival. I'm uncomfortable comparing the President of the United States to someone who's turned out to be a dictator. Philip Mudd, a career intelligence analyst and executive at the CIA, FBI, and the White House National Security Council, is also troubled by Trump's declaration that he'd have a very good relationship with Putin. In places like Europe, in places like Syria, in Iran, where America has critical policy interests, Putin has interests that are at variance. For example, in Syria, 
He supports the continuation of the Assad regime. The Americans obviously do not. By contrast, experts say Putin believes Hillary Clinton will be more formidable. Vladimir Putin would obviously prefer that Trump became president than, uh, than Hillary Clinton, mostly because he really dislikes Hillary Clinton. Some believe Putin, the former KGB officer, is manipulating Trump by stroking his ego. Former CIA director Michael Morell said this to ABC News. Donald Trump didn't even understand, right, that Putin was playing him. So in Putin's mind, I have no doubt that Putin thinks that he's an unwitting agent of the Russian Federation, although Putin would never say that. How might Putin manipulate Trump if Trump's elected? I can imagine, at least in the early stages, uh, Putin sort of getting Trump to believe everything that he says uh, by flattery, by, uh, by taking Trump seriously, by complimenting him on his leadership ability, um, and then being a bad faith negotiator, which he always is. But analyst Masha Gessen believes that if Trump wins the presidency, a dangerous confrontation between Trump and Putin is more likely. She calls it, quote, two mentally unstable, aggressive men with nuclear buttons. We reached out to the Trump campaign. They wouldn't respond directly to that or to the other criticisms of Trump's compliments of Vladimir Putin. Trump himself has said that Putin's compliments of him would have, quote, zero impact on their relationship. This is treason. What's going on here?